Hello, my name is Randy. My name is not Randy. And together we are Ghost Hunters. That's right, yeah, we're called... Wait, why is your name not Randy? Well, because my name is not Randy. Yeah, but what's your real name? You know, I have no idea. Now, anyways, so we're here today to teach you about ghost hunting basics. That's why you clicked on this video, right? To learn about the ghost hunting basics? Of course you did. So, we're gonna give you a set of materials that you're gonna need to hunt ghosts. It's pretty simple, actually. Let's take a look. Now, one of the most important things you need in order to hunt ghosts is an EMF reader. That's right. It's pretty basic, pretty simple. You can get it at Walmart, anywhere you go, you know? So, uh, yeah. So, not Randy, tell us what EMF stands for. That's pretty easy, actually. It stands for electronic Mario thing. Thing spelled with, with an F. E thing spelled with an F. Well, that sounds about right. Yep, an EMF reader, and you'll be good to go. Now, what other materials are you gonna need to hunt ghosts? Well, don't worry, we've got you covered. The second thing you may need on your ghostly travels is a gun, of course. That's right, yep, you never know when there may be a ghost, so you might have to shoot your way out of there. W wait, wait a second, you can, you can shoot ghosts? That's just like a normal, normal gun? Like, that's not like a special, like, ghost gun? Yeah, I mean, of course, I mean, why wouldn't you be able to shoot ghosts? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Alright, and the last and most important thing you'll need is a bag of chips. Now, we recommend the sour cream and onion chips, but sometimes going with the cheddar cheese chips can also be very advantageous. You want to be careful when you get Cheetos, you know. Those things, they leave a lot of, lot of orange stuff, and ghosts don't like orange stuff, so be careful. So, yeah, we recommend, yeah, stuff that is not orange typically. So, no Cheetos if you really, you know, if you really can help it. Sometimes all they have is Cheetos, so you just gotta go with what you gotta go. But luckily, we have an entire bag of chips ready to go on our ghost hunt. We do? Y yeah, we, I bought some chips yesterday. What happened to them? Oh, those are for the ghost hunt? Oh, I, uh, I kind of ate them. You ate the entire family-sized bag of chips? How? What can I say, man? I was hungry. Huh. Well, unfortunately, we won't have chips in this hunt, but, uh, what could go wrong? I mean, if you don't have chips, it's pretty important, but uh, I'm sure figs will still go pretty well if you don't have chips. Right? Next thing you'll need is a haunted location. That's right. Yep. So we chose this place, an old apartment building. Um, you know, it's pretty haunted because I feel like uh, I don't know, like like for say, for example, like I feel like a lot of people have died here in like short films and stuff. So it's probably, you know, pretty haunted. We'd say. So let's go ahead and hit the uh, the haunted location montage. Alright, so the most important thing to remember when dealing with a haunted location is to disobey all laws and break in and just enter right away. And make sure to just run in there, guns blazing, like nothing bad's gonna happen if you don't do, if you do that, you know, it's not like you should like sneak around or anything, so we're gonna go and do that. You ready not Randy? Oh, I'm ready. Let's break some laws! Alright, so here we are in the location, that's right. Now you wanna get your EMF reader out, of course you wanna have a bag of chips. But unfortunately, we can't have a bag of chips because someone ate the entire family-sized bag. Hey, man, what can I say? All right. Well, so you're going to want to listen to your EMF. You want to make sure that it's, you know, it's all working. Make sure that it's on. And it will start making some noise when there's a ghost near. Here, listen to this. Let's see if we can find a ghost around here. Woo! 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 There we go. We seem to have uh, found a ghost. Oh, sorry. That was me. What? Why was that you? I, I just want to make a funny noise. Oh, that was pretty funny, actually. But anyways, let's, let's try to find a ghost. Alright, so a prime location is the attic. I mean, who doesn't like a nice attic? I mean, come on, it's like the perfect place for like a little man cave or something like that. So, uh, yeah, we're checking out here. And, oh, looks like we've got an EMF reading. Wow, a reading of five. Now, the scale is one to four. That means that uh, you've got one, but after that, you also have two. And then, really, like, if it goes to three, then that will like, be greater than two. And then we got four after three. Um... What happens? What happens after four? That, I think that's that's five. Yeah. So that means that that if you have a five reading, that it's it's more than a four reading. Is that really true? I think so. Hmm. Well, yeah. So we got an EMF five, which means that there is a ghost in here somewhere. Yep. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it, so we're just gonna you know, we're just gonna walk around and, and just uh, see if we can see if we can see it. Yeah. Just let us know if you, you see the ghost or anything. Yeah, so it's typically pretty obvious when you see a ghost, like, it'll be right in front of you and stuff. Like, we're, we're not really seeing any ghosts just yet, but uh, you should feel, you should see some signs. Like, for example, of course, the EMF reading, as well as you should be feeling some chills. I'm kind of feeling some chills, man. That's because you're wearing a sleeveless shirt. That's, you know, I, I told you not to wear a sleeveless shirt. You know, it's going to be cold. Why are you wearing a sleeveless shirt? 
because I'm an idiot. Anyways, uh, yeah, so, um, hmm, yeah, I, okay, we're getting an EMF 5, but we don't like, actually, like, see any, any visible signs of ghosts, so we're just gonna head out, um, but yeah, so that's, that's what you do, you know, you just keep looking and stuff. Uh, we'll, we'll look around a little more and see if we can see a ghost, and, uh, yeah, we'll report back. Man, we gotta find a ghost around here somewhere. Yeah, I know, man, this program's gonna be lame if we don't actually find a ghost. Yeah, come on, I mean, uh, come on, ghost, show yourself, you gotta be here somewhere. He's right behind us, isn't he? All right, well, we found a ghost, and uh, he looks pretty cool. He's a very, you know, non-threatening ghost or anything like that. Uh, you know, not not Randy. What type of ghost is this? Uh, let's see, there are very different categories of ghosts and stuff like that. And um, I'm thinking this is uh, a ghost. Right, th thanks for the, the clarification. Yeah, we've got a ghost here. So there are a few different ways to get rid of a ghost. One of them is just to ask them, hey, ghost, can you go away? Nah, he's not buying it. All right. The second way is to just shoot him. You know, ghosts, of course, will, will die if they're shot, so we just got to shoot them. Let's, let's try that. And there we go. It worked. So, that uh, was pretty easy. I can turn off my EMF reader so we don't have to worry about any more ghosts. So, yeah. Just remember, ghosts are more afraid of you than you are of them. So, we've taken care of the ghosts, and we're ready to go home. All right, so we made a slight miscalculation, but uh, don't worry, we're professionals. So now you know what to do when you're dealing with a ghost and stuff like that. Most of the time you want to call professionals like us. And also, uh, maybe maybe call for some help as well. Um, for us. Um, yeah, how do we get down from here? I have no idea whatsoever, but all the blood is rushing to my head and it feels so good. And also incredibly terrible. I hate this very much. Yep, me too. Me too. All right, well... Thank you for watching. We're, of course, the Ghost Boys. Call us anytime you want. Uh, you need professional assistance in uh, removing ghosts. Uh, this, was just, uh, this was just a joke. You know, of course we know how to, how to actually deal with ghosts. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, uh, uh, goodbye now. Bye. All right. Copyright free. Ghostbusters. Go ahead, run the credits. What are you doing, man? Don't, don't, don't ruin my flow, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the copyright free Ghostbusters theme. Wait, if you say that, if you do the Ghostbusters theme, no matter what, it's gonna get taken down. It's gonna get copyrighted. No, no way, man. That doesn't. That's not how YouTube works.